Okay, so we proceed to our next example. This is for a three moment equation with the cases uh, with the case of uh, support uh, settled waves. So for example, we have this beam uh, 30 meters long. We have three spans, 10 meters each. So we have support settlements. So settlement at A, 10, meter, 10 mm downwards. At B, 50 mm downwards. At C, 20 mm downwards. And at D, we have 40 millimeters downwards. So let's say modulus of elasticity is 200 times 10 raised to 6 kilopascals or the kilonewtons per square meter. I 700 times 10 raised to negative 6 meters to the fourth. So we assume that the modulus of elasticity and the moment of inertia of the beam all throughout its length is constant. So required, we are required to compute for the moment um, our intermediate supports Bn, uh, C. So how do we uh, start our uh, solution? So we have our uh, main equation for the three moment equation that is M1 L1 plus uh, twice moment number two. This is multiplied by L1 plus L2 or plus moment number three. This is L sub two plus we have six A1 A1 divided by L plus six times A sub two B sub two divided by the length number two is equal to since we have settlements. This is 6 times the modulus of elasticity multiplied by H1 over L1 plus A sub 3 divided by L sub 3. So this is our moment, 3 moment equation considering we have support as uh, settled mass. But for this case, as you can see, we have the length of the spans is basically equal to uh, 10 meters. Okay, 10 meters. This will equal to 10 meters and we have a constant moment of uh, inertia. Let us consider one span and take note, we have span AB is similar to span BC and similar to span CD. Similar when it comes to the length of the span 10 meters and with similar uh, loading, 30 kilonewtons per meter. If that, is half, if that is the case, we have 6A1 a1 divided by L sub 1 is the same as 6A sub 2, B sub 2 divided by L sub 2. Okay? So we may just consider one span, then we have the values of this uh, 2. For example, we have span AB. So we isolate one span, then assume to be simply supported. So that is 30 times 30 times 10, we have 300. Divided by 2, we have 100 uh, 50 kilonewtons as uh, support. So for the moment diagram, for example, okay, uh, our reference will be on the left end. That is 150 times 10, we have 1,500. Then 30 times 10 is 300 times 5. This is 0 degree. So the expected moment diagram will be on 2nd degree. Negative 1,500. Okay, so let us compute the equivalent of A1, A sub 1 is equal to A, A sub 2 or B sub 2. Again, if this all, uh, they are equal if we have the case, the same length, the same load. Alright? So we have, uh, let's say this is A1, A1 is equal to 1 half. Okay, our base is 10, the height is 1,500. Okay, this is multiplied by, okay, the centroid will be 1 third of 10. Okay, for the negative area, that is 1, the degree of the curve is 2, plus 2, uh, plus 1 for area. Multiplied by 10, this is multiplied by negative 1,500. Its centroid on the left end is, okay, we have 1 fourth of 10. Or that is the same as, if you have to determine the centroid, this one, 2 plus the degree is 2, multiplied by 10. So that is the uh, compute the equivalent of A1, A sub 1.
And we have the equivalent equal to uh, 12,500. So we have 6A1, A sub 1 divided by L, is now equal to 12,000, or that is, again, also similar to uh, 6 times area to B sub 2, this is divided by the length, is equal to, we have 6 times 12,500, and this is divided by 10. And we have that value. And we have 7,500. Right, so we have these values already for the statical moment area. So let us now consider all right, the first three points. So again, if you are using three moment equation, kapag gumagamit tayo ng three moment equation, obviously we can only use three points per uh, equation. So that's four. Okay? So we can only use three points. That is the same as two spans. So we first, we may consider the span A, B, C. So, I let us establish our three moment equation for the span A, B, and C. That is the moment of A times length number 1 plus twice the moment of B this is qualified by length 1 plus length number 2 plus uh, the moment at our third point this is the moment of C times length number 2. A plus we have 6 times A1, A1 over L sub 1 divided by A plus 6 times area sub 2, B sub 2 divided by L sub 2 is equal to 6 times E and this is multiplied by A sub 1 divided by L1 plus A sub 2 divided by L sub R2 so this is our equation uh, we establish our Three moment equation considering the spans A, B, and uh, C. But obviously, we have support A, the moment at A is equal to zero since it is A hinge uh, support. All we have to do is uh, we have the value of 6A, A1, 6A to B2. Uh, we don't have yet the value of H1 and uh, supposedly this H sub 3. Okay? So take note if you are considering three points or two spans using three moment equation, then you consider your middle support as your reference. So what is the difference in level or elevation between A and B? This is 10 mm, this is 50 mm settlement. So the difference of the two will be uh, is 50 minus 10. This will be our H sub 1 equal to 40 mm. So our Our H sub 1 is equal to a positive 40 millimeters. Why is it positive? Uh, why is it positive? For a reason, take note that our reference is the middle support and point A is higher by 40 mm. Alright, so I'll put a correction here. Should be, we, have, should, yes, we should have an I there or the moment of uh, inertia. Alright, so we have 40 mm. That's our H sub 1. Now, considering point C, what is the difference in elevation or level between supports B and C? The settlement of B is 50, settlement of C is 20. This is our H sub 3 for the span A, B, C. So we have, that is the same as 50 minus 20, we have 30 mm. So our H sub 3 is positive 30 millimeters or the same as positive 0 0.0403 0 meter so again why is it positive since point C is higher than our reference point our middle support okay, so we have the values and we substitute so moment at A is 0 this is 0 plus twice the moment at B span at 1 is 10 
Spana 2 is also 10 plus the moment at C this is multiplied by 10 meters plus we have these values a while ago that is 7500 plus simply equal to this term 7500 equal to 6 times what is our E? That is 200,000 megapas uh, 200 times 10 raised to kilopascal pala 200 times 10 raised to 6 kilopascals I is 700 times 10 raised to negative 6 and this is multiplied by H1 is positive 0 0.04 over length 10 plus A sub 2 or A sub 3 0 0.03 this is divided by a 10 so we simplify this is now 20 plus 20, 20 times 2 we have 40 moment at B plus 10 moment at uh, C okay. plus uh, 15,000 is equal to you simplify the, the right side of the equation Is equal to 5,000. Okay, 5,880. Uh, we have now 40 moment at uh, B plus 10 moment at C is 5,880 minus 15,000. Is equal to, uh, we have 9, negative 9,120. I think all are divisible by uh, 10. So this is the same as 4 times the moment at B plus 10 the moment at C is not equal to negative divided by 10, negative 912. So let this be our equation number 1. So again, we, we consider span BC. So the next span will be span B, C, and So next to consider we have a span uh, that is span B C D. So let us establish the three mo moment equation for this uh, two spans. So we have that is starting with B, the moment at B multiplied by L1 plus this is twice the moment at our middle point this time is a uh, moment at C multiplied by L1 plus L sub 2 plus we have the moment at D. My moment at B is multiplied by L sub A2. Okay, plus we have 6 times A1, A1 over L. L sub 1 plus 6 times A2, B2 divided by L sub 2 is equal to 6 times EI. And this is multiplied by our H1 plus H sub 3 divided by L1 divided by L sub A2. So this is our 3 moment equation considering span B, C, and a D. So if we have to consider uh, support D, this is a ruler support At right, the moment that D will be equal to uh, 0 So again, if we are considering 3 points, always consider your middle support as your reference point So this time, a reference point will be point C uh, with a settlement of 20 mm So what will be our H1? So this will be our H1 uh, the difference in ele uh, elevation or level of C and AB. So our H1 is equal to 50 minus, obviously, 50 minus 20 is negative 30 mm. So why is it negative 30 this time? Uh, we have H sub 1 is equal to negative 30 millimeter, millimeters or equal to negative 0 0.03 meter. So take note again, our reference point this time is the middle support which is support C And support B is 30 mm lower than support C Then what will be our uh, H number 3 this time? So our H number 3 is the difference in level or elevation between C and D This is our H number 3 So that is 40 minus 20, we have negative 20 millimeters. So why is it negative this time? 
Y, Y, C, negative. This time we have H sub 3 for the span B, C, D is negative 20 mm. Or this is the same as negative 0 0.0 to meter. For a reason that we have support D has a supplement of 40 and C has only 20 mm. Support D will be 20 mm lower than support C. So we substitute. So this is the moment at D is uh, 0. Since that is a lower support. We have the moment at B. This is moment at B multiplied by the span 10 plus twice the moment at C. The span BC is 10. And the span CD is also 10. Plus, we have this value as 7,500 plus 7,500 for both statical moment area. Uh, is equal to 6 times, we have 200 kilo times 10 raised to 6 kilopascals multiplied by I. This is 700 times 10 raised to negative 6. Then multiplied by what is our H1? Negative 0 0.03 over a span of 10 meters plus H sub 2. This is negative 0 0.02 divided by 10 meters. Okay, we simplify. This is. And we have 10 times the moment at B plus 20 plus 2, we have 40. The moment at C plus we have 15,000. So we simplify the, uh, we simplify the right side of the equation. Is equal to negative. As I said, this is fifteen thousand. Yes, seven thousand by five hundred. And is equal to negative four thousand two hundred. Is it correct? Negative four thousand two hundred. Yes. And then we have a uh, ten times. And this is now 10 times the moment at B, okay, plus uh, 40 the moment at C is equal to negative 4,200 okay, minus 15,000. So we'll be having a value of, uh, this is 19,200. So again, I think uh, alters are uh, divisible by 10. And we have, this is the moment at B plus... Uh, 4 times the moment at C is now equal to negative 1920. So let this be our equation number uh, equation number 2. So let us compute the moment of B and C using equation 1 and equation 2. So a while ago we have our moment equi uh, our equation uh, equation one that is four times moment at B plus moment at C is equal to negative three hundred twelve. Our second equation is moment B plus moment uh, four times the moment at C is equal to negative uh, one thousand nine hundred twenty. So solving for uh, moment at B and moment at C. So we have the moments. This is the moment of B is equal to negative a 115.2 kilo newton meter. Then we have the moment of C. And we have the moment of C is equal to for negative 451.2 kilo newton meter. So this will be our answers. So why, as you can see, why do we have a negative moment? These are these two are negative bending uh, moments. If we are to draw the equivalent uh, deflected form of the beam or the elastic curve of the beam, okay, 
Okay, so as you can see, we have at B and C, if you are to observe B and C, supports B and C. Okay, both are roller supports. So at supports B and C, as you can see, we have the beam that is uh, like this, uh, bended upward. Or this, uh, so we have, if it is bended upward, we have a negative bending moment. So this is a negative bending moment. So that's why we have negative moment at B and negative moment at C. So this is our example for the three moment equation uh, with uh, with the case of beams with support settlements.